Hey everyone, here's a question from Comparing Quadrities and the question is What sum of money lent out at 12% PA? PA means per annum. Simple interest would produce rupees 9000 has interest in 2 years. What is given here? They have given that a sum. Sum means principal. Okay. What sum of money lent out at 12% means rate is given as 12% per annum and where the simple interest will be 9000 for 2 years. We have to find out the sum here. Whenever they have given sum, understand it is principal. We have to find out principal here and we know here the rate which is 12%. We know simple interest which is 9000. We also know the time. We have to find out here principal that is P we have to find out. Now you might have learned a formula to find out the interest, right? So let me write down the formula first. So here you have learned that interest that is SI or I is equal to PRT that is P into R into T divided by 100. Yes. Now here we have to find out this P. So there is one more formula which actually comes from this SI only which is P is equal to simple interest multiplied by 100 and divided by the remaining two different units that is rate and time will come in denominator. Actually this formula come from the first one you have to just cross multiply. This 100 get multiplied with simple interest and R and T will come in denominator. That's it. So here we're going to use a principal formula to find out this. We know everything we have to just substitute and get the answer. So let me write down the formula first. Okay before formula let me write down what is given. We know rate which is 12% we know time which is 2 years we know simple interest that is i or si you can write down which is rupees 9000 now we have to find out here is uh, principal so p is equal to interest that is simple interest multiplied by 100 divided by rate into time so this is equal to interest is 9000 so 9000 multiplied by 100 divided by rate is 12 and time is 2. You can cancel the numbers. I'm going to cancel 2 and 100. So 2 ones are and 2 into 50 is 100 so I'll get 50. We can cancel here 12 and 50 again 2 table. So 2 6 are 12 and 225 is 50. Now 25 and 6 we cannot cancel but we can cancel here uh, 9006. We can cancel this in 3 table. So 3 2s are 6 and here 3 3s are 9 and then followed by the zeros. We can cancel 2 and 3000 so 2 1s are 2 and 2 1500 is 3000 so I'm going to write down here 1500. Now, when you multiply here 1525, because these are the only numbers which are left in the in the numerator, in the denominator we don't have anything, we have only 1. So 1 into 1 is 1 and when you multiply 1525, you will get here 37,500. So this is your principle, that is some what they are asking in the question here. So P is equal to 37. So rupees 37,500. So I hope this question is clear how we have done. Now in case you have any further questions or doubts you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.